Hello and welcome to SBC, SB Cinema. Today I'm out here in Chroma Key Valley to show you this beautiful 7 buck cheap tracking knife. So let's take a look at uh, this knife in the boxed state. I will open it uh, right now at home because that's the kind of knife you need a knife to get out of the packaging. Yeah. It does have a real wood handle, aluminium, and of course steel. It comes with a knife sheet, and here's a little protective cover on it. It says Fertenmesser, that means tracking knife in German. Solid wood handle. Three years warranty. And a bit of a closer look here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look doesn't look bad. Oh, but one thing I noticed that really, really bothers me. I mean, come on, look at this. Huh? Why this cheap Photoshop work here? I mean, was it too much of an effort to take a piece of wood, lay the knife on top and photograph it? I mean, that's that's really cheap here. Okay. Okay, Klingenlänge. That's the length of the blade. Klinge is blade. Um, 13,5 cm. That means it's illegal in Germany to carry it without a permit. Yeah, liberal countries. Complete length, Gesamtlänge, it's 24 cm. Inclusive uh, Aufbewahrungstasche. Aufbewahrungstaschen. Hey, we have a typo here. Aufbewahrungstasche means that's the knife sheet. Tasche is back, Aufbewahren is storing. Yeah, uh, made of stainless steel. Rostfrei Klinge blade. Aus, made of Rostfreiem Stahl, rust free steel. And in case you wanna read this. That says Warnung, warning. Scharfe Klinge, sharp blade. Yeah, Verletzungsgefahr means <laughs> risk of hurting you. Injury. Another stuff here. Yeah. We have three reels warranty. I mean, that's not bad. It's the <laughs> actual warranty time the German law predicts, or the European law. And it did cost only. Seven ninety nine, so about ten dollar, or depending on the current president, maybe even twenty dollar. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, it's a nice little, no, not not too little knife. I mean, yeah, but there are big hands beside it. Okay, enough talking. Let's open this knife. Without a knife, I take scissors. Ooh. How can I open it without destroying it completely? Ah. I mean, what should I do? But I pull it out from the leaflet. La da di, da da dum, da da di da di da di da 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 <laughs> ah, scissors are for women. <clears throat> if you understand this joke with scissors and women, then you're probably not a child. Oh, they really try hard here to not get it open. I mean, that's the problem. <laughs> you're stranded out in a survival situation and you're in... Yeah, 
could theoretically tear the back open, but yeah, yeah. Take another knife. Something like this. Another knife. Let's go in from the back. And in order to try to save the cardboard, yeah, but in this case, let's do it this way. I mean, I could just brutally open it. But I like to keep my stuff intact. One way to open this, as I have seen, the back is just cardboard, not thing, so it's yeah, it's openable even without a knife or scissors. Let's pull first out, keep the tension alive. <laughs> Let me pull the knife sheet out first. Let's see. It smells a bit like plastic but not too bad we have a little piece of paper here and one interesting thing it's there are no English instructions on the back so it's made for the German market they may sell it in other countries Okay, that's for the warranty. <laughs> that's, that's really old fashioned, like in the 80s. You have to fill it out and send it in. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's nice with the oil. Yeah, now we can look at the picture of the bag. Not bad. There's some RV. No, that's some. Camper trailer here. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if they just stole it from the internet or if they bought it stock footage style. Oh, that's a fiddly stuff here. This knife comes out now. Come out, baby. The protective tape stayed in it. But it doesn't think that's needed anymore. So let's clean up the table here. Let's take a look at the knife itself. Matrix handles during the hand. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, it does lay quite nice in the hand. Balance point. Ooh, spot on. Look at this. It's very well balanced. Yeah, I think that's a good knife. Seems solid. Here's the wood handle with some plastic spaces between. But it feels nice. Organic. I have this bronze spot in the back, so you can actually just push someone or something I mean yeah it's very sh sharp and pointy therefore they have put this little protector on it well, it's a nice little life I, 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 I. 
sits in a bit of an unusual curve here. Like this. I mean, you, sh you expect the blade to be level with the grip, but on the other hand, it's probably quite nice to work with. Let's test it. Let me see us first here. It doesn't quite shave, but it's got sharpness. Oh, not bad. It cuts, it cuts okay. Yeah, it's okay. Those storyboard knives, they are usually quite sharp when you get them. The problem is, it's not too hard of a steel, so they get. They lose their sharpness pretty fast, but that's not a problem, especially in a survival situation, because uh, I just need a, a flat stone or a piece of uh, ceramic to sharpen it, uh, so that's not a problem. I mean, yeah, it's a nice knife, it lays very good in the hand, it's a tool you can work with. You can crib it in your fist like a dagger, yeah, just like this, so oh, yeah, it works. Not too perfect as a dagger, but to hold it, it has a good guard here, so you don't slip forward and cut your finger. You can also push on this part here, so I guess, yeah, depending on how they have fixed the blade to the handle, it seems to be good, but yeah, we have here a metal part, so that's an advantage. Yeah, really not bad. Now, till the video ends. Just let me put it into the sleeve and see how it fits. It's uh, the only disadvantage it's that's only for left-handed use. So yeah. Yeah, it slips in quite well. It locks in place. Just got this velcro tab. Big loop, so you can hang it on a really big belt, that's good. And yeah. Quality of craftsmanship, yeah. I mean, it's a plastic sheet, uh, that nylon or Teflon. Yeah, feels like Teflon. I mean, yeah, not bad, really not bad. Just push it off with our finger and pull it out. That works. That works great. So, yeah, a good little knife. It's not expensive at all. So, yeah, really not bad. Definitely something you can use. In the stump here. Yeah. My work. Five minutes with a real piece of wood and their work with a photoshopped knife onto a piece of wood so let me know in the comments which one you prefer the real one and this is just like it is out of the phone nothing uh, color graded or anything Photoshop, real wood, and of course, yeah, you can color grade it or something. I mean, yeah, I just couldn't look longer into this knife that's photoshopped onto a piece of wood. 